Hi everyone, so in this video I am going to check out the FMS FMT24 and uh, it's a Chevrolet Colorado and I think it's m less than a Corolla and more like a Basher so let's check it out and here it is the Chevrolet Colorado officially licensed by GM and we have a cool hologram sticker Unleash the power of endurance and dominate every terrain. So there's one with the blue body, black body and there's white and orange. That's the one I bought. Here are some measurements and specs. And the specs look good. And the specs look good. Lots of metal parts, ball bearings and lots of other stuff shown in the manual. Which you should read of course. Alright, what else do we have here? Not really happy with the styrofoam box. Um, please, please change this FMS. Oh, this is heavier than I expected. And as always, we'll have a look at the car later. First, let's check out this radio. Only a few more seconds and there it is. Fits well in my hand and easy for one-handed steering. And we have Steering trim, steering dual rate, then we have the switch for the speeds and this is where the battery Yeah, and we also got throttle trim and throttle reverse. Here we have some spaces for friction dampers, we have the USB charger, a wrenching tool. Wow, and the USB charger puts out 2000 milliamp. Right, but now let's check out the car itself. Let's bounce this thing. Those aren't friction dampers, those are oil shocks. So the body is already printed with all the brandings, there are no extra stickers and here we have a wheelie bar. So it might just be a real basher, let's see how fast it can go. Ah, okay, there are also some stickers there and tires feel good. A look at the wheelie bar. <laughs> Chevrolet. Oh, underneath it appears to be quite sturdy. And the plastic does not seem too cheap. Actually quite strong. I mean, yeah, it's plastic, but the compound feels alright. I mean, appears to be quite sturdy. So I assume that the hood is put on with a velcro strap and then hinges, but it's not really like that. I mean, it hinges, but that's not really how it's supposed to be. You're actually supposed to pinch those and then slide this thing out. That's here and then you slide it back in in the front or out. Like so. So that's what we have. We have two servos, one for steering and the other one for the two speeds. And behind it in the center are the gears. Right next to it we have a 370 brushed motor. And that seems to be quite powerful for the small RC. I really want to see it in action now. On the other side held in place by a rubber band is this 2S LiPo. Oh, just let me loosen this rubber strap. There you go. And it's a 900 milliamp hour LiPo battery. We haven't had much um, experience with those connectors. But I hear that some prefer them over others. And we have some waterproofing going on. Indicated by this rubber over the power switch. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, and yeah, let's listen to the metal gears. Let's take this thing out. Power on. Car on. Servo seems to be all right. Oh no! 
So this is where we switch the speed. So that's the first speed. Not too fast, which is good for practicing or when you want to hand it to a kid. Alright, second gear. I <laughs> saw so the wheelie bus, not just for the looks. Yeah, it's rather fast for the small RC. It is really easy to handle, so let's drive a little bit more around. Wow, this thing is really fun. I think it's uh, it has a good price value and I think it would be a great gift for someone starting the hobby. You will have enough spare parts and it's just really fun. And look at it, it's so beautiful. And it fits easily in most bags so you have your RC fun everywhere you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.